What's up, risk managers? My name is Nasdaq Anonymous, and I'm addicted to the NQ. And boy, is she one hell of a drug. Today was another good day, a really great day, if you was trading that sweet drug known as the NQ. Take a look at what I accomplished today. So today, I managed to get $9,800 today. Actually, I actually made 17K today. I actually lost 7, 7K in profit, but I was able to at least lock in this win. Today, I didn't trade my top step XFA today. Apex is 80% uh, off one day pass ended today. So I took on the challenge and initially I did blow the account. I, I did have to reset this account. And on the second try, I was able to get that one day win. Let's get into these trades. Now, as you can see, these are the trades that I took in this account today. You can see all these big numbers, but today was basically scalps. We were, oh, price was in no man's land. After it broke those highs, came back and retested and turned prior resistant into support and price just skyrocketed. Congratulations to anybody that was able to capture a piece of this move in a funded account. And hopefully you can reach that payout and get paid out those profits. And kudos to those that found themselves on the wrong side of the market today. The NASDAQ is definitely, definitely one hell of a drug. So let's get into these trades. Oh, actually, let's go back. So obviously, I, I started off rocky with this. This is actually my first trade was a 30. Yeah, all today. I was basically, yeah, I almost started off. I started off uh, in this account the second time red. The NASDAQ was being very choppy. The NASDAQ was very indecisive in the beginning and finding a good place to place a trade was challenging. It wasn't a good start after I reset at this account. The market was definitely, it was hard to find a good position to just sit in. Basically in the beginning of the session, you had to basically find scalps and on some of these trades, I held too long. And because I'm used to trading top step, that trailing drawdown was something that I had to rapidly adapt to, but I was able to do that. So obviously the first two trades was basically me not taking profits and it hitting my stop. I was able to recoup a lot of that and being overzealous, this took me back. And so as you can see, a lot of these scalps were basically trying to break even, trying to get back what I lost because with Apex, with their trailing drawdown, you don't necessarily lose just, like when your stops get hit, you don't lose just that. You lose whatever profits you had before. So let's just say that your if your stop gets hit, normally you will lose $500 as your stop. Well, if you were $1,000 in profit and it came back and hit your stop, well, you just took a $1,500 loss. So these numbers might say like 1,800, but I'm pretty sure the losses did calculate the profits that I didn't realize. So that's the one thing that you just have to be mindful with Apex. Once you defeat that trailing drawdown, which is very achievable, you basically have a real account with access to all your contracts at any time. And with Apex, there is a lot of opportunities to really make money in this market. But let's look at this last trade. Let's just go over this last trade. This is the biggest trade that, that I had today. And honestly, this was towards the end of the day when the market was just going straight up. There was not, there was, there wasn't even price action anymore. 
the market was basically going straight up. So, so let's just look at this trade. Yeah, so as you can see, this right here, this was towards the end of the day. Price was at 370. Throughout the day, I kept telling myself, this is it. I'm not gonna trade anymore. I'm just gonna accept my profits and I'm gonna end the day. And every time I looked at my chart, I kept seeing the, the NASDAQ, that sweet drug known as the NASDAQ, continue to inch and inch its way up. And she, just like a siren, she called me. It was very tempting and I jumped back in. I said, you know, I'm gonna pass this Apex account today or I'm gonna blow up trying. I'm gonna pass it or I'm gonna blow up trying. And try I did. Let's look at this trade. So this is me just, just scalping, just take, just scalping, scalping, scalping. Because as you know, the market just went straight up. See, there is no price action at all. Any dip, I just bought all dips, scaled out. And you can only imagine the, the amount of contracts I had. As I was scalping this, I was, there were some positions where once there was a dip, I went full port. Full port, 17 contracts on the dips just to capture this move. Look at this move go. All in this area right here. I was just scaling in, taking profits, buying dips, taking profits, adding to my position. When it would dip down, I would add to the position and then scale out. Obviously this last contract is when I passed the account, but look how much further it went up. Look how much further. No one could assume that this market was gonna do this today. Nobody. If anybody told you that they, this was gonna happen, they're either an insider or they are exaggerating because nobody knew this was gonna happen, especially this, like, dude, it, it's just stopped. There was no price action. It kept going straight up. This was obviously FOMO. FOMO, 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 and it finally double topped, broke that up uh, price structure. But the bulls, the buying was so strong, the bulls bought this up. And price continued to, to chop to the right until the end of the session. This is why she is such a drug, a drug that you just have to be very mindful when you trade her. Because in this trade, the adrenaline, the high, at this point, I wasn't even looking at market structure. I was just trading the momentum. I knew that if I put on a short position, I was gonna be liquidated. I just knew just to, at every dip, just go long. Because as soon as the bears got a few points in profits, the bulls came and they picked it back up. So it, this is why it's very important to be mindful of the context of the market. Understand that when the market is, when the market is bullish, then you're a bull. And the market is bearish, then you're a bear. If it is bearish, you sell the rips. If it's bullish, you buy the dips. It's that simple. Don't let your mind tell you that it's too high. Because if it's if you, as soon as your mind tells you that, that's the second that you'll become liquidity for the people that are that are buying it at this level because they will buy. And as you can see, look at where we're at now. I think the high was at, yeah, 17,450, I believe. No one could imagine that the market would push up this high today. I'm just happy that I was able to recognize this. I was able to be confident in my trades. I was able to lock in that one day win over at Apex. So now I'm funded with Apex as well. I really want to do well with, in, in this account. Apex is the casino. I do not trade my Apex account the same way I trade Top Step. And you have access to a lot of buying power, so you don't necessarily have to be strategic with your entries and exits. You can get by just by doing quick scalps. And that's usually the mindset I have when I trade Apex. And I'm gonna try to change that. I'm gonna try to implement what I, how I trade in Top Step with Apex. And we'll see how that goes. And as long as I try, 
that's all that matters but that's all i have uh, if you're enjoying this these breakdowns and want insight on trading the nasdaq intraday so you don't miss moves like this subscribe to the channel and join our live streams where me and my trading partner provides intraday analysis in real time our current goal is building a community and if you're tired of missing the best trades on the nasdaq then join our live streams join our community join the risk managers in the chat look at her go she's at 460 and the market is not even closed yet look at her go man again congratulations to anybody that was able to capture this move but as always we appreciate your support as we grow and i'm gonna leave you with this the risk manager's creed trading involves risk and demands careful analysis and capital preservation we can do that by practicing sound risk management every trade tells a story make sure you write that story in your trading journal because our psychology is all over these charts and with that my name is nasdaq anonymous and i'm addicted to the nq Stay green out there. Peace.